Good morning all of you. So we are in the chapter rational numbers and addition and subtraction. Next we all, uh, took the multiplication also. And we discussed some part in the multiplication and some uh, other questions also from the multiplication. Simplify. Simplify if it is three rational numbers for multiplication. What we can do? And you look these three rational numbers. 3 by 4 into 2 by 9 into 3 by 4. So in this case, if, if it is multiplication only, we can do this easy method, shortcut method. So if any rational numbers with addition or subtraction sign, don't do this method. Okay, it will be very mistake. So all of you want to care and you want to notice that if only in the case of multiplication you can do this cutting method okay so otherwise most commonly one mistake happens in this if any question if you got this like 3 by 4 plus 2 by 9 someone will do like this 3 and 9 will cut 2 and 4 will cut it is very wrong okay that we can do only in the case of this multiplication so that i told multiplication is easy comparing addition and then subtraction now you look 3 by 4 2 by 9 and 3 by 4 all is we are multiplying no addition and subtraction there so we can use the shortcut method by cutting method cutting method means division actually we are doing the division and in this case we are finding uh, the numbers common factors we are finding common factors of any numerator and denominator okay any numerator or denominator we can check. <coughs> now you look here the first numerator is 3. Now you look this 4. 3 its denominator we know that is 4. But 3 and 4 have no common factors. But next you check the next denominator. Next rational number denominator is 9. Now you check 3 and 9 have any common factors. Yeah 3 is common. So we can divide 3 and 9. 3 divided by 3. Both we can divide by 3 because 3 is the common factor in 3 and 9. So we are dividing both numerator and denominator by 3. So 3 by 3 we will get 1 and 9 by 3 we will get 3. Okay. Next, next here it is 2. 2 and any 2 here the denominator it is now 3. But 2 and 3 have no common factors. Now we can search any other denominators are yeah here 2 and 4. Otherwise, this 2 and 4, any denominator you can take. Now, find out the common factors in both. It will be 2. So, we are dividing by 2. Both numerator and denominator, we are dividing by 2. We will get here 1, here 2. Okay. Now, again you can see, find out, you search any numerator and denominator have any common factors. Now, you look, this 3 and here also 1, 3. So, both numerator and denominator have the common factor 3. So, we are dividing both by 3. So, here we will get 1. 3 by 3 here also we will get 1. Now, look at the numerators. Numerators have only 1 into 1 into 1. Okay. So, it will be 1. No other common factors in there. So, 1. Next, divided by. Now, the denominators... 4 into 1, 4, 4 into 2, 8. So, 1 by 8 is the answer. Next, you look here 2 negative rational and 1 positive rational. In this case also, <coughs> we are checking the common factors in any numerator or denominator. First here, 9. So, when we divide 9, we will get 9 here how 9 and 10 have no common factors. So, we are taking this denominator and we are dividing 9 and 3 by 3 because 3 is the common factor in both. So 9 by 3 we will get 3, 3 by 3 we will get 1. Next you check the other, uh, now this here have 3, this in, three in, in this numerator we got 3 but here have in the denominator have another 3 so that we can cancel 3 and 3. Only we can cancel one from the numerator and other should be in the denominator. Okay. From both numerator and uh, same numerator we can't cut. It will be wrong. 
Next you look. 5 and 10. We can find out the common factors as 5. So we are dividing by 5. We will get 1. And here we will get 2. Now you check any numerator and denominator is remaining with the common factor. Yeah. We are 2. In the numerator is 2. In the denominator another 2. So that also we can cut. That is we are dividing by 2. Now check what is remaining in the numerators. <coughs> so here will be minus 1 and always it will be when cutting no other numbers are there so here will be 1 minus 1 into minus 1 into 1 so numerator will be minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 what is the answer that you know then denominator remains what 1 into 1 into 1 that is 1 itself so what will be the answer minus 1 into minus 1 we know that is 1 1 by 1 that we know 1 itself Okay, so that way also we can do one. Next one, in this case, one mixed form, if it is scale, minus 3, 1 by 5 into 3 by 8 into 3, 1 by 3. So that we can do as, first we are changing into uh, improper form. So, minus 3 into 5, <coughs> that is minus we can do as, next 3 into 5, 15, 15 plus 1, 16 so minus 16 by 5 instead of this we can write the rational as minus 16 by 5 then second is what 3 by 8 3 by 8 into 3 1 by 3 that also we can convert 3 into 3 9 9 plus 1 10 so it will be 10 by 3 next we are finding the common factors <coughs> Sit. now you look 16 and 8 we have common factor as 8 is the common factor not only 8 there is 2 is common 4 is common 8 also common so which is the highest common factor then it will be easy if we are dividing with the highest common factor we can reduce the steps so 16 and 8 the highest common factor is 8 so we are dividing both numerator and denominator by 8 we will get here 1 here 2 Next, in the numerator here 3, the denominator another 3. So, that also we can cancel. Then, 10 and 5. Dividing by 5, we will get here 2, here 1. So, what is remaining in the numerator? 2 into 1 into 2. 2 into 1 into 2. We will get 4. And 4 by, what is the numerator? Only 1. So, 4 is the Answer. And also one more thing, not only 4, what is the sign here? Minus. And also you count how many negatives are there? Only one negative, that is an odd. So the product also will be minus. Minus 4 is the answer. Clear? So this is the uh, multiplication of rational numbers. If it is more than two rational numbers come, we can use this shortcut method. If it is two fractional only, two rational numbers also that time also we can use this. But one more, you want to care not use this method in the case of addition and subtraction. Now, what we uh, next we want to discuss is division of rational numbers. Division of rational numbers, just like division of fractions or division of integers, we can say what is. If it is we are dividing A divided by B. Okay. So how we will do this? A is multiplied with the multiplicative inverse of the second. That we discussed in earlier classes. So A instead of dividing we are multiplying with the multiplicative inverse of the second. What is the multiplicative inverse of B? It will be 1 by B. For multiplicative inverse we can use another word. What is that? Uh, reciprocal A into 1 by B. Just like we can use this in the case of rational numbers also. Now look one question. Two by nine divided by four by seven. How we can do this question? Two by nine divided by four by seven. So first rational there will not be any change. 
that we can write it as 2 by 9 itself without changing, without any change. We can write the first rational as the same. Then instead of dividing, we are multiplying with the reciprocal of the second one. What is the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of 4 by 7? It will be 7 by 4. Then we can use the uh, uh, method of rule of multiplication of rationals. What is the rule of multiplication of rational? We are finding the common factors in any numerator and denominator. Here we will get this 2 and 4 have common factors. Here it is 1, it is 2. And any other common factors in any numerator or denominator that we can check. 7. Here no, it is not a common factor. Here also no common factors. So we can directly multiply the numerators. 1 into 7, 7. 9 into 2, 18. So 7 by 18 is the answer. Okay. Just like one more question we can do. So division also very easy just like multiplication. Okay. Another question is 5 by 8 divided by 5 by 8 divided by 7 by 10. So first we are dividing. First take the number. Take the rational. First rational 5 by 8. Without any change. Then instead of dividing, we are multiplying. With the sub opposite of multiplicative inverse of 7 by 10, it will be 10 by 7. Okay. Now, here you look. Any common factor in any numerator and denominator, 5 and 8 have no common factors. And 5 and 7 also, no common factors. Then sometimes you will do, this 5 and 10 will cancel. This 5 and 10 have common factors. And someone will do like that. Don't do like that here because it is both in numerators. So don't cut these two. Don't divide these two. Only take one number from the numerator. Other should be in the denominator. So these two numbers we cannot cut or divide. Now here no common factors for any numerator and denominator. So we are that man, directly Multiply the numerators. 5 into 10. Ah, another common factors have. Here look. 10 and 8 have common factors. That I have a mistake. Here anyway. 5 and 10 have common factors. But we can't do that because of both numbers are numerator. But you look. 10 and 8 have numerator, uh, common factors. Which is that? Common factor 2. So both we are dividing by 2. Here we will get 5. Here we get 4. Now we can multiply the numerators. 5 into 5, 25. 4 into 7, 28. So the answer is 25 by 28. This way we can do some questions in the textbook also. So all of you understand the method of now we discussed addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And using this 4, some questions will include both operations, sometimes multiplication and division together, sometimes uh, multiplication and addition together. That full, any, any, any problem, you can uh, expect some combination of this uh, addition and subtraction or multiplication and division. So, all rule we want to understand, well, for addition and subtraction, we must, first, what is the first step? Uh, we must convert that into uh, same denominator. Again, the different methods are there by multiplying any rational or by finding LCM of that denominator. But in the case of multiplication and division, there is no need of making the denominator same. So directly, in the case of multiplication, we are directly multiply the numerators and that will be the uh, numerator of the product. And uh, we are directly multiply the denominators that will be the denominator of the product and the division how we can do uh, instead of dividing we are multiplying the second rational with the we are uh, multiplying the first rational with the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the second rational so all of you understood these rules for four operations addition subtraction multiplication and division okay if any doubts you can contact me okay thank you